A lot of updates with respect to the HD Revana case. This is a definite sensitive case that has affected the first family of the JDS here in Karnataka. We're talking about HD Revana who was arrested and custodial interrogation that took place yesterday. The SIT sought custody of HD Revana for at least five days but were granted three days until May 8th. While the custodial interrogation was on, HD Ravana has also been exploring legal options by sitting with the legal counsel at the SIT office. We also hear that a bail petition was filed today and it could be listed tomorrow where the hearing could take place while Karnataka's 14 constituencies go to polls. Now, this is definitely going to be an interesting poll plank as far as uh, the election in Karnataka goes because the Congress has launched an all-out attack against the BJP as well as the JDS. Remember, the BJP and JDS are in alliance here. But in the meantime, sticking with the investigation, the hunt is on for Prajwal Revarna, who happens to be the JDS uh, sitting MP seeking another term from uh, the Hassan constituency here but in the meantime we're talking about uh, an Interpol uh, help that has been sought by the central agency based on the request that was sent by the SIT where they have been speaking about issuing a blue corner notice now what is a blue corner notice once that is issued this will give details about the whereabouts of the person the person's identity as well as uh, the location with regards to a criminal investigation and uh, that is that could land uh, Prajwal Ravana more in trouble all eyes are on when and how Prajwal Ravana could return because he forms a crucial part of this controversial videos case that has been doing the rounds and has been taking center stage for quite some time here in Karnataka now, the third FIR that was registered, which also uh, charged uh, allegations against HD Ravana talking about abduction, the victim there has been rescued as well as recovered. Now, the statement of hers could perhaps be recorded in front of the magistrate under Section 164 of the CRPC. Now, this statement could be extremely crucial in terms of finding out whether it could spell more trouble for HD Ravana there. And this statement could also be in the works with respect to the objections that could perhaps be filed by the SIT tomorrow when the bail hearing of HD Ravana happens there. In the meantime, there were protests that were held in different pockets of the state. Yesterday, there were protests held in uh, the Hassan district where JDS loyalists demanded the release of HD Ravana. They said that without conducting a proper inquiry, why should HD Ravana be arrested? And in Chikmaglu district today, a lot of Dalit organization members protested seeking the resignation of HD Ravana from the post of MLA. While these protests were on today, the SIT also conducted a Mahazar, which is a protocol that is followed by uh, an, any investigation agency where they take the victim, corroborate the statement that was made along with the location as well as the materials that are sought. So the SIT exploring all angles, covering all angles as far as this case goes, but one of the missing links is definitely Prajwal Ravana there and all eyes are on him at this point in time. With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.